hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to create a new user and enable SQL Server authentication in SQL Server Management Studio I am connecting now the authentication mode this time I am changing to SQL Server authentication and the login user Charan connect see we have login successfully with the username user channel expanding the databases if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates I just opened the SQL Server Management Studio right now I am logging with Windows authentication connect after I log in successfully to the SQL Server Management Studio, to create a new user, expand the securities, the logins, right click that one, new login. The login name I am giving, user Charan is my login name and I am selecting the SQL Server authentication and I am providing the new password. We need to uncheck these three checkboxes. So I am unchecking the enforced password policy. It will disable all the checkbox controls. After that, go to server roles and from the server roles, select the last option. The next step, user mapping. And from the user mapping, I am selecting the default database sample DB. And the last one, status and make sure the permission to connect the database engine is grant and the login is enabled click ok now right click the root folder restart and here we got a message are you sure you want to restart yes That's it, we have created a new user SQL Server Authentication. Let's open, let's expand the Logins folder. And notice here we got a user Charan. Just now we have created. Let's log in with this user Charan. I'm disconnecting the SQL Server Management Studio. I'm connecting now. The authentication mode, this time I'm changing to SQL Server Authentication and the login user Charan connect see we have login successfully with the username user Charan expanding the databases that's it 